welcome back to the first time. I'm unreliable. A couple of months ago, GOG gave me Fallout 1 and 2 and Fallout Tactics, in fact, for free. I played like an hour of Fallout 1 and I never played any of them ever again. I think it was right before my old computer died and my new computer was clumsily slammed into life. Um, I wonder, does it keep my save games? No, it does not. So before I started playing, I wondered if there was a mod for it, and there was, so we're playing it at 1080. I've stretched the screen, so I'm not sure how that's going to... Well, I don't know, it looks okay to now. Right, so we can go pre-made characters. Um, one thing that's nice about this is the sound. I wasn't expecting that, I was expecting it to, I don't know why, to be 16-bit for some reason. Um, Albert, Natalie, or Max Stone. Um, we're going to create a character. Right, uh, we are... I wonder if we lose points for this. Must be 18. And... If we click on them, will it tell us what they do? Do I need to put them up, or...? Okay, this mouse is not very accurate. Um... Jesus, that's not accurate. Uh, well, there you go, right. Um, no, we're going to have to cancel. Can we get any options here? No, we need to cancel this a second. Right, back a second again. Now going to the options. Another thing this gave us was options, that's nice, uh -huh. And we need mouse sensitivity, turn it way, way up. There we go. So right now I've got my mouse turned at like 5000 DPI. And uh, it's still a bit wacky, so... I wonder what a normal mouse would have been like, it's a uh, Corsair M65 as well, so it's not even like it's not a good mouse. Good, there we go. Hmm. Right, um... Should we have a wee quick look through these? Raw strength. Makes sense. Hit points, melee damage, carry weight, um, perception, range combat, and distance modifiers. Okay. The ability to see here, taste, and something else. Endurance. Yep, that's endurance. Charisma. I think we're going to make our guy high charisma. We'll see how that goes. Um, still get three more points to spend. Maybe we'll make it. Oh, cool. Alright, it goes up to great. I like that. I don't know. If, no, the other followers don't have that. That gives you a nice rating. Intelligence. Um, hmm. Dialogue options and many skills. So, we'll put intelligence up to Agility, armor class sequence, and many skills. Hmm. And luck. Or unlucky your character is. Hmm. We don't want to be unlucky, but we don't have any points. So, I guess that seems like a rational place. Um, if we take these, what happens? Your metabolism rate is twice as normal. This means you are uh, much less resistant to radiation and poison, but your body heals faster. Ah, they all have good and negatives built in. It's weird that in modern games you have ones that have goods and then another ones that have negatives and you're expected to balance them. This is just now you get both. Should we try gifted? Ah. Okay. Alright, no, good and negatives again. For some reason I was expecting it just to be good and I was looking for this to go to minus one or something. Can you hear this music in- uh, not music, can this- Hell in the background? Right, shall we see what this does? Um, plus one to all stats, but you have 10% on all your skills at start. And receive five less skill points per level. Whoa. I think we'll drop gifted. Urgh. Maybe we'll knock one off intelligence, put one on to charisma, then take gifted. Never heroic? Holy crap. I kinda wanna see what's after heroic, is that not? Okay, we'll see what's after heroic, god damn it. Oh, there isn't anything, tens of highest. Good, probably that's a good thing. So we'll start off with the highest charisma, very good intelligence. Our guy isn't much of a fighter. He's got 33 health, I suppose. Right, let's check it, skilled. Um, since you spent more time improving your skills than a normal person, you start with twice as many skill levels. The trade-off is that you do not gain as many extra abilities. You'll gain a perk every four levels. Hmm. What can I... what does that do? Oh, that puts that back up. So that negate that, but we're trading it off for a skill... Uh, a perk every four levels. No, what? We'll just ignore that. Night person. Um, during the day you're dull. Chemical resistance. Only affect you half as much. But you, a chance you crave them. It's also 50% as normal. Wait, what? Chems only affect you half as much as normal, but the chance you crave them is also only 50% of normal. 
So is there a good chance I'm going to get addicted to just all sorts of things? Um, you crave chemicals more easily. Um, your chance of craving chems is twice as normal, but you recover twice as fast from their ill effects. Hmm. Good natured. You studied less. Combative skills. Oh, you studied less combative skills as you were growing up. Your combat skills at the start are lower, but your speech. Oh, let's turn that up. I think we're already capped for that bit, so. Oh, hold on. There's things here. We looked at them, but I didn't really see what they said. Um, so if I crack this down one, does that. No, it doesn't directly affect them, and it? that's good to know. Um, I feel like good natured's going to be the right one. I substantially improved. Let's look at them. Whereas, what was it? I said speech, barter, and oh, speech and barter, right? So I do not say speech. Do you say speech anywhere? Oh no, there it is. There, thirty-five, and it cracks up to. 50. How much can we can turn it up? How much can we can turn it up? We can turn it up to 55 plus that. Puts us up to 70. Hmm. Our guy is going to be a melee guy. Right, so we've learned that. Melee weapons. Right, jinx. Um, good things happen to everyone. More critical failures. More critical bad failures as well. Um, bloody mess. By some strange twist of fate, people around you violently die. You always seem... You always see the worst way a person can die. That doesn't seem... I'll take that. Ah. Hmm. Should we drop good natured? It will give me an extra 10% to combat, so... And just give me options with other things. I think we'll take bloody mess. Um, there's a bunch of other abilities we just can't even take. Right, well, let's keep clicking on things. Um, do we take speech? Right, so we've got speech. I kind of want to be a gambler, but mm, I guess not. What else is already high? Unarmed? Our unarmed ability is devastating. Um, hand to hand combat. Is that. Is hand to hand combat a viable option? What about melee weapons? Let's have a look at them. Um, what's agility? <laughs> we'll cough away for the microphone, we'll try and do that. See if that's something we should try and uh, keep up. What? Can I. No, I think we'll stay as a melee, to be honest. Mega lag there on that screen as well. Guess it's got all the high-tech graphics, you see this? And it's age doesn't affect it neither. I was kind of hoping it'd give me more health, but less carry weight or something. Um, we'll definitely crack up lockpicking, and we'll put up Doctor. So, so far, our guy is not a combative guy. Um, is there anybody? None. We'll call him... Um... What will we call him? What can it be his name? Talk boy. There we go. And... Is there anything else? What do the options do? Nothing. Come on, options. You can do it. Oh no, because we need to press enter up here. Oh, that seems like... Ah, uh, we're definitely not going to die because of this. We'll save him as player because... Pretty sure we're not actually going to need to go back to him, but maybe we will. Maybe we're going to mess up the start so thoroughly we're going to have to reload our guy, so that could be something. Oh. Ah, you're here. Good. Ah. We've got a problem. A big one. The controller chip for our water purification system has given up the ghost. Can't make another one. And the process is too complicated for a workaround system. Simply put, we're running out of drinking water. No water, no vault. This is crucial to our survival. And frankly, I, I think you're the only hope we have. You need to go find us another controller chip. We estimate we have four to five months before the vault runs out of water. <laughs> Things we to do. <laughs> need that chip. We marked your map with the location of another vault. Not a bad place to start, I think. Look, just be safe. Okay? His face looks like... ...bean bags inside a carrier bag. Like, what... What a weird texture, what weird... Like, frozen bean bags inside a carrier bag that's been left out in the snow. But these graphics are nice, even if they are only in, like, a 15th of the screen. Surprisingly nice. 
So is this what the original vault looks like? I've never actually seen this. I wonder if you can even hear me if uh, this audio is super loud. So I'm quite certain I can't, well maybe I can, let's say I could stretch the movies but I thought I did have it, I'm certain I did have that setting. Out in Earth Cave. So for the last time I remember, um, if you'd seen it, that we start video there, it said uh, we're on vote 13, it wants us to go to vote 15. And hopefully fix the water thing, something to that effect. Oh. Everyone's went blank for me. You see anything? And the game has stopped working. God damn it. Well, at least we saved our wee guy so we don't have to make him again. Right, well, if that isn't a good place to end it, then anywhere else would have been. If you want to see more like this and hopefully some gameplay, like, comment, favourite, subscribe. Join us again for the next time.